Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Once again, welcome back to this episode of Jim and Java, where we answer your fundraising questions. And that's our goal to help you increase your income and reach the goal of being fully funded. If you like what you hear today, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as we grow our network of professionals who are trying to reach that next level of funding. If you need to reach me, please do so at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. You can submit your questions down below in the comment section. You can always reach out to us on Twitter at devfstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Well, let's jump right into our first question. Our question today is from Sean in San Diego, California. And Sean asks, in preparation for year end, what strategies would you recommend? Well, Sean, thank you for your question. As we prepare for year end, of course, these last months of the year, September, October, preparing for a November, December year end, it's important for us to think about this very much as we would farming. Farming is compared often to year-end or year-end compared to farming in the sense that there is the planting, the watering, and then the harvesting. And really, September and October, the months of September and October, should really be looked at as the planting of the seeds and the watering time. What that means is that there really should be in September a lot of tilling the soil and getting it prepared for year end. So that means that you need to at least do one call to your partners. And I understand that it would be difficult for you to call all your partners, but whether you are raising your own ministry partner team, whether you're uh, raising your own individual support for your nonprofit organization, or you're an organization as a whole, calling that critical few, that 20% that brings in 80% of the dollars, is important to do in September and October. Make that call now with no ask involved whatsoever. All this is designed to do is really develop the relationship with the people. Ask if they've got questions, ask how they're doing, share stories of changed life. If you're a faith-based organization, ask for prayer requests. What are things that you can be praying for them about? Make sure you genuinely care about their needs and their well-being. Ensure that your time is spent listening to them, taking feedback, finding out how they feel about different topics related to your nonprofit organization. Because as you move to November, December, you are going to be presenting those opportunities that are out there for your organization as it moves to your end. We want to make sure that you remember with a good year-end appeal that you present a deadline, that you have something that justifies them making a gift by December 31st. And so you want to make sure that in September and October, you want to prepare them as much as you can as I said, by answering a lot of their questions and making sure that they feel comfortable about your organization and comfortable about their giving at this particular time. Even though we are still in the middle of a pandemic and that life as they know it may in some ways be going back to normal and then in other ways it seems like the rug keeps being pulled out from under us, we found that many of our partners still have a strong interest in helping those nonprofit organizations that they've helped in the past and that they are still interested in giving financially. So make sure that you take September and October to develop and go deep with those relationships with those individuals. For some of you, I hope this is not the beginning of a relationship. If it is terrific, if these individuals are new to your organization, uh, that's great. But I would hope that the last eight months have been also building and developing relationships. But now there really needs to be more of a purposeful plan as you work towards year end. So Sean, I hope that helped answer your question. I appreciate so much your interest and uh, much success as you move towards year end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that ends our broadcast of Jim and Java. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below, especially 
uh, if you've got specific things that you found that have worked at your end, please put that in the comment section so that we can share that with others on this community. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel as we continue to move forward and to grow this community of individuals who are looking to take their nonprofit organization to the next level. If you've got questions either related to this or questions in as a whole, reach out to us at DevFstrat on Twitter and use the hashtag Jim and Java. We're also at Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And as always, I hope for you the best as you increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.